Hello buddy and welcome back for a new video. Today I'm gonna go ahead and explain the one push effect and why we use it instead of the two wide. Um, and a, a little bit of a little bit of that should help you along uh, making your own one push with your sign comp, uh, hopefully. So the first thing we have to go over is um, what it actually does. So uh, right here we have the webs and of course we're gonna have our not a sticky piston, we don't need that. Put a normal piston, so my bad. So first of all, we of course have our our pistons here uh, that allows us to put some sand, and then of course we'll be able to um, to stack sand up here uh, as high x amount of sand you need, or you can even go as high as you want. To be honest, you can go just about as high as you want because you can stop it right here, as you see, like that. You can stop it whenever you want. Uh, but first of all. Let's go up and stack up some sand here, but it did to go into the web as you see right here. Right now we have what something in it. Let's go ahead and remove that. So first thing that happens is of course the sand comes down. And when you think you have enough sand in there, you can push it out like that easily. Um and that's because this right here pushes uh two blocks. So as you can see right here it pushes two blocks. Um I'll probably be able to give you this instead. There we go. So those are the two blocks that oh right, that's ugly. That's staying ugly. Um Alright, so those are the two blocks that pushes when you see that. And of course it does push it like this uh all the way out where uh, we then are gonna have our uh, dispensers going up like that and it uh, then pushes it uh, out further uh, and in into the cannon. So, uh, the, the the entire idea of this is that it one pushes, that means that uh, you're not going to need any push effects, uh, that meaning comparators like over here, uh, where it pushes it out. Um, it only pushes once to get it out of the cobweb, and the two wide does not. Um, and basically, that, that's how all of that works. Um, I did get some questions about uh, why we use these one push instead and that's basically because it's faster so let's go ahead and put 60 sand in each right here we have 60 right here we have 60 of course the one push here is a little bit higher uh, because it does uh, only have one line plus this six uh, sand we have here so of course this is a little bit higher but it doesn't really matter how high it is uh, but let's go ahead and, and press the button and you'll see which one comes first and I already know it's the one push and that is because we don't need to push that much um, as you see of this one right here uh, if you go ahead and so I'm pretty sure I have a pace of it if you go ahead and check this one then you'll see that uh, when it comes down we need a delay on these piston or uh, this TNT here because all this sand needed to be pushed out into the end of the cobweb before the TNT fires and that is why uh, we can do it like this uh, where the one push is faster because it only needs to push once. As you see, it's already pushed over there. This one here was still pushing. Um, so, so that's basically why we want to use the one push. Basic because the idea is faster, um, and you get a, a lot more speed out of it if you use the one push. Um, and of course, the one push does have the ability. Uh, to uh, to to do it multiple times. Let's I don't know what that was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my bad. Uh, it have the ability to shoot multiple times with the x amount of sand it have in it. Uh, so of course, if you put put this in here, uh, let's take that out right there. You will not be able to do the same on this one right here. Uh, there we go, and you see here it is a little bit of a mess in here, uh, and that, that's 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 basically how it is. Like probably this wouldn't really matter, but as you see, it's 13 sand so far uh, wasted, and I'm pretty sure we can continue picking up some here. Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19 sand to waste, uh, and of course. Uh, we don't want to do that. Uh, we don't. We don't want that. So the one push is faster and better because right here we have exactly 60 sand, 
and it stops it. Uh, of course, we could we can go ahead. We could put it higher up. We can put it up uh, as high as we basically want. Uh, there's not gonna be any anything fucking up. Oops, fucking up on this cannon right here. It is simply just gonna continue. Then it's gonna stop it, and then the one push comes in. Nothing gets stuck. We can go ahead. We can shoot again. Uh, but of course, this one over here, it gets stuck. And then when you go again, uh, that it might actually. I can pretty much show you. Uh, if you do it like this, and then press the button, as you can see right now, there's still a web in the in the cannon, and there it pushes out. I'll try to push out, and you see it all oh, this gets stuck in here. Really annoying. Of course, we could just do slaps uh, all the way, uh, no, 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 no. but that is not gonna. That's not allowing us to do. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't have them in here. Uh, hang on, guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Nope, that was the wrong one. Personal skims, there we go. Uh, so, let's take this for an example. Um, when it is this big, a uh, whip, uh, then we're gonna need something down here. Uh, well, it doesn't really have to be down here. We could make something right here uh, that allows it to be 12 long. Um, uh, but since this is here is a little bit than than that, then we kind of limit it when we use that. So I I suggest not using it, um, only because uh, it it does get stuck in here and it's really annoying and you can't really shoot as fast. Of course you 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 can just break this with slaps or something or or, or even go in there with a shovel. But it doesn't make it as fast as this one push right here, where we simply just can fire this cannon as many times as we want. As long as we have this uh, possible sand to do so, we can we can just keep going going here. And it it is faster because it's a one push and not like five pushes. Uh, so it makes everything a lot faster and. When you do this with a dual sandcom, you make the cannon really, really fast and shoot extremely, extremely fast if you have alt printing and stuff like that. Uh, and that is why we use the one push uh, to stop the sand at the right, right moment, and uh, of course to be able to shoot multiple times. And it does fire out of the cannon faster, or sorry, fire out of the sand compression faster. And when it shoots out of the sand compression faster, we will be able to actually uh, shoot faster. As you can see, when I when I start you click on this one, you see how the TNT almost instantly activates. Um, while over here we have some delay on it, uh, and that's what I mean why it goes faster. You cannot make TNT faster, but you can uh, activate it faster, and that is basically what we've done here. And that's why the one pulse uh, reusable sand compression is faster than the two wide reusable sand compression. So if we go back here to this one here, I kind of want to tell you a little bit about how you can do this. As you see right here, you can you can go ahead and you can make this uh, uh, as far as you probably want, uh, as as long as you have this redstone right here and the redstone right here. You can make it as long as you want. Uh, I'm just going to take an example here and just simply do this like this. There we go. There we go. And then, oops, pretty sure we could do it like that. Alright, so now I made it a little bit wider, and of course, we will still be able to do the exact same as we used to. Uh, simply just put in some sand here. There we go. Put up a little bit more here. And then of course push it into it. And we need a button. I knew that. And then you'll be able to push it out. So you can make it as long as you want. Uh, the only... Only that might be hard for you guys is that the, the TNT here. Uh, you can go to buy uh, dual sand compressions and figure out how to do that. I'm pretty sure I have one up here. No, that one is the old one as well. Uh, but I, as you see in my. Let's go into my public schematics. Oh, no. Alright. Skim shop view. There you go. And then, of course, take a, it doesn't matter which one we take. Let's go a little bit further away from here. There we go. So now that we have this one in, you'll be able to see what I did to actually do this. Uh, so we need these booster things right here. And, or you can either do that, or you can have it right here going down and blowing up here and pushing this sand that is right here this way. And this sand that is right uh, here, it's going to get pushed this way. Um, so everything get pushed at once uh, from like here or something like that. But that, that also limits it to 12 long because TNT can only reach 6. So that means that that is uh, 
that is just around this far uh, from if the TNT is right here of course you'll be able to take this distance um, there we go and of course we're gonna need like from this one right here we're probably gonna need a block um, and this one right here we're probably gonna need no we don't really need a block yeah maybe uh, but it, it does make it a little bit harder uh, so if you want to use that you can only do it like 12 long 12 ish long if you do it 13 there's gonna be uh, a sand right here in the middle that's not gonna get affected by that TNT or that TNT and it's simply just gonna sit here uh, so this is why these uh, boosters here come into play and it actually makes it a lot better um, but all in all guys I think that's just about it for this one push for usable sand compressions um, and I know I'm not showing the dual sand compressions uh, but the dual is simply just two sand compressions right next to each other um, and of course there is something called uh, like two uh, two switches or, or something like that or no a switch between two sand compressions that is also a dual comp but this right here is also a dual comp it is two compressions right next to each other uh, two equals to dual and that's how it is so um thank you guys for watching this video here and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video here and hopefully you learned something new and hopefully you'll be able to make your own uh one push dual sand comps and if you have some issues with text and stuff like that you can go ahead and you can uh, check out my dual sand compressions out uh, and whole i'm pretty sure i have a cadence with one push as well go ahead and check those out and let me uh, uh let me know if you have any issues with those cadence as well by the way those dual sand comps are the one pushes all in all and i'll try to fix them but i'm pretty sure i fixed most of it uh but anyways guys thanks for watching this video here and if you like this video remember to like this video of course and as always guys Comment down below if you have any questions, issues, suggestions, whatsoever you might have. And as always guys, subscribe to my channel. My name is Dexter, and I'm out.